Hi everybody, this is Faith from Firesign Tarot. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down some cards for Virgo tonight for the first half of April. I know I'm a little late. I'm sorry. So, this virus, it's, I don't know, weird energy surrounding it. Everybody's very anxious. And me being an empath, I struggle with the energies that are going on around me. And I am struggling right now, let me tell you. It's the unknown, and I get that. But everybody's on the same interesting journey right now. Nobody knows what path we're going to get flung onto. The sage doesn't want to stay lit. I'll move on to the cards in a second. There we go. Set this over here. All right. Let that burn. Clear out the negative junk. Rub my hands down with this pink Himalayan salt chunk I got. my mind. I'm a Virgo moon and a Virgo rising, in case you didn't know and were wondering. <sighs> interesting mix of a Sag I am. I'm also a Scorpio Venus, so I'm a very interesting mix personality-wise. I guess it depends on what kind of day I'm having. Anyway, enough babble. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first half of April. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Your shoes do not fit me. I cannot walk your path. If it does not resonate, throw it all together. Don't, don't pay no never mind. Forget it happened. Forget it ever happened. Forget you saw it. Or check your moon rising your Venus sign readings. You know, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Just know that time and energy are both fluid. And all things can and maybe vice versa. And if you're a cross watcher checking this out, you're welcome here too. I always enjoy the cross watcher. Alright, two more for Virgo and we're going to get started. Going in blind. Yeah. Six of Swords. What are we moving on from Virgo? You know, every one of those swords is a thought. It's a memory. I call this the six swords of baggage. You're taking it with you. Okay. Well, it's fine. Or you could just be dealing with an air sign. You know. Take it however resonates. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Queen of Pentacles reversed. They might be a little bit clingy. It happens. A little clingy, a little high maintenance, possibly an earth sign. Could have earth in their chart. What do you think of them? King of Pentacles reversed. They are not as down to earth and put together as they presented themselves to be, are they? King of Pentacles is kind of scattered. Maybe a little lazy. All talk. Not a whole lot of anything else. What do you want from them? King of Swords, you want the truth. You want to know what's really going on. Okay. Well, how do they feel about you? Three of Wands reversed. 
they're kind of catching the vibe. You're not going to wait. You're not going to wait for results, Virgo. What do they think of you? Two of Wands reversed. Oh, they, they may very well be catching a vibe. They could be a fire sign, too. Catching the vibe that you're about ready to just pick a path because right now you're stuck at a crossroads. You got your bags packed. What do they want from you? King of Cups reversed. I'm getting clarity on this bad boy. You're marrying each other a little bit. Because these two are essentially the same thing. King of Swords makes logical, non emotional decisions. This guy's closed off emotionally. Okay. What's, what's the challenge here? Four of Wands reverse. Doors are about to be slammed shut. There's no foundation here. If there is a foundation, it's built pretty unsteadily and pretty shaky because things weren't what they presented themselves to be in the beginning, were they? What needs to be done? You're supposed to knock. I'm recording. Do you need something? Pardon me a moment. What? Chocolate milk. There's two grown adults out there. Neither one of them can get you chocolate milk right now? Hmm. Dad's on his phone. Uncle Will's on his phone. Okay, ask one of them, please. Thank you. I love you. Drop a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We saw some. I love you. I'm always depressed. I know. He hasn't seen his friends in like three weeks. He's pretty depressed. Sorry about that. Where were we? What needs to be done? The full reversed. Hmm. Oi. Don't jump. Well, okay. We're definitely going to get clarity on that. Don't jump any in any further than you already have. Don't trust. Potential outcome coming out of a state of heartbreak. Well, the Three of Swords is reversed here, so. Let's get some clarity. <sighs> My friends, I am the only woman in this house. I am a lonely estrogen buoy on an ocean of testosterone, and I really need someone to throw me one of those life preserver thingies. Hmm. Lockdown will be over soon. It'll be okay. Universe, source, and spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Virgo tonight, please? Justice in the reverse. Bags are packed because things aren't equal. Justice has not been served. Things are not level. Things are not on the up and up. We knew this. Just for kicks, why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed here? Thank you. Four of Swords in the upright.
You may feel like they're clean because they've been through some stuff. Four of Swords happens after the Three of Swords. They're clingy because they need to rest. They need to be in a relationship where they're not so stressed out. They need to feel secure. They need to feel like the battle's over and that they're safe. Okay. Right on. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? Maybe you feel like they make you feel safe. Maybe you're the codependent one, Virgo. I don't know. Somehow I highly doubt that, but you know. I've never met a codependent Virgo in my life. Thank you. Star card reversed. What you think of them? King of Pentacles reversed. Scattered, not together. It wasn't presented is what it actually was. One more on this with the star card, please. star card can represent honesty, wish fulfillment, healing, honesty, honesty, honesty. It is, it is the beacon after the hellfire of the tower. It's there's no communication here. The world reversed. It's very strange. Unfinished business. Oh. You think there's something that they're not telling you. Why they're so codependent. I think you know about the battle, but you don't know the details. I think those are hidden. Why is the King of Swords here? Queen of Swords, well. Honest communication, you want the truth. Every bit of it, my cameras. Yeah, my Chromebook's moving, sorry. I must have stepped on the cord. You want the truth. Up, down, left, right, good, bad, and ugly, you, you want to know it. It's like buying a used car with a 30-day warranty and you hit day 32 and it starts effing up, you know. Mm. Why is three of wands reversed here? Thank you. Nine of wands reversed. How do they feel about you? They may be tired of waiting and want commitment. That's how they feel. They don't want to play games with you. They may have waited for you and they're done waiting. One more. One more. Wow. Page of Swords reversed.
they they may feel like that you're you're fishing for information from the other people and you're getting filtered information. What do they think of you? Why is the two of wands reversed here? You sneaking around, Virgo? I don't think you're sneaking around. King of Pentacles reversed. I'll be damned. Wow. They may feel like there's some skeletons in your closet. And there's things you're not telling them. That you may not be what you presented yourself to be. Two of Swords. They think you're standing at the crossroads waiting to make a decision. They know that you know. They don't quite know how you found out, but they know you know. Why is the King of Cups reversed here? For what the other person wants from Virgo. Wants of Virgo. Okay. Hi. Queen of Wands reversed. Five of Cups reversed. Loss of love, loss of passion. Oh, wow. One more? Can I get one more for that final answer, please? Thank you. That's the answer. Death card. Okay. They want you to accept them. I think you change them as a person. You change them as a soul. They know that you know. They want acceptance. They want you to see them as a blessing. They don't want it to stop. They don't want a loss of love or a loss of passion. They want to come out of their state of, their, their state of sadness. They want to metamorphosize with you. You changed them. Okay. This is a horribly unstable relationship. And wow, Ten of Swords. They want the pain to come to an end. They want the sun to shine again. You make their sunshine, Virgo. But that's touching. Wow. I'm getting a little misty over here. No, that's not sarcasm. Why is the four of wands reversed here for the challenge? I'm going to flip these guys back. There we go. I had like five cards flipped over. I'm not going to take them. What are you... Six of Cups. Okay. Well, four of Wands reverse, Six of Cups. Six of Wands. Fives of the cards of change. Six is what happens after change. This may be somebody you've known for a minute. Possibly. The challenge here is this is not a stable foundation. This is very shaky. Fool in the upright. I'm going to stop right there for that card. The challenge is victory. The challenge is reminiscence and reconnection. The challenge is taking that leap. 
building that house on an unstable foundation, trusting the universe, trusting each other. The challenge is the journey. Okay. What can be done? Full reversed. Why is the full reversed here? Well, that just... Wow. King of Swords. Flew out. You watched it happen. Flew out. What can be done? Honest communication. Before you jump, sit down and have a conversation. Have a cup of coffee. Eat some scones. Netflix and chill. Skip the chill. You know, skip the Netflix, whatever. Just get together, have a conversation. Have an honest conversation. Are you both on the same page? Do you both want the same thing? If this is somebody you've been kicking it with for a while, are you still the same person you people you were when you met? Maybe these... Maybe the Queen and the King of Pentacles are reversed because they were in the upright when you met them. Maybe things changed. Maybe they changed and they want acceptance because they know they've changed. Why is the Three of Swords reversed here for the possible outcome? Wow, Virgo. What? High Priestess reversed. Egos, 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 egos. Disconnection. Y'all were soulmates. Hanging out up in the 5D, come down here to the 3D. Nah. It's not working out the way you planned, was it? Lovers reversed. Until you guys sit down and have an honest conversation about this, it's going to stay disconnected here in the 3D. And maybe that's what it was meant to be. Maybe you were meant to change in part ways. I don't know. I just read the cards, guys. All right. What do we got? Bottom of the first deck. Bottom of the second deck. Oh. Ten of swords reverse. Strength in the upright. The only ones with the power to let the sun shine again is y'all. Nobody's going to do it for you. Your shoes don't fit me. I can't walk your path for you. Sorry. I actually have very small feet for a woman my size, but that's a story for another day. This is going to stay... This is going to take strength, and this is going to take the respect of the polarities between you. One cannot overtake the other. That's not a relationship. A relationship is cooperation. It is trust. She has to trust that that lion is not going to take her arm off. The lion has to trust her that she's not going to cast a spell on him or beat him with her wand or stab him in the throat. You know, whatever you do to kill a lion, I don't know. It's trust. And you can't have trust with dishonesty. Am I making sense to anybody? Have a conversation. I'm going to go, though, because I get a couple more readings i got to upload tonight because it's already the 1st of April, and I'm already behind. So, Virgo, I love you guys. You guys are great. You guys have been so supportive the last year. Thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you for existing. Okay. I'm going to jet, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist your arm. It's not what I'm here for. I'm here for love and light and positivity and good vibes. I'm here to spread messages of hope. And there's always hope. There's always faith. No pun intended. Talk soon. I'll catch you in a couple of weeks for your second half of April. And I will catch you guys tomorrow afternoon or Friday morning for the weekend top and bottom. Check you later.